What's going on guys, Dale the Artist here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to go about creating poses for your character inside of Blender, as well as how to go about storing them inside of a pose library for animation and production. Let's get into it. All right guys, so here we are inside of Blender. Your character's done modeling, he's textured, he's rigged, and you wanna start creating various poses and building a pose library. Now, what is the first step on doing this? First thing to do in creating a pose is select the rig, go to the top left corner, change it from object mode to pose mode, and go to the right. And if you don't have a tab here, um, press N on the keyboard, and it's going to bring up this menu here. And you want to change it from view to animation. And now you can see we can uh, have access to our pose library. And although this is great for uh, beginners, and uh, we can do most of our posing and affecting our library from here. There's a few more advanced options that you guys should be aware of. Um, if we duplicate our window, I'll show you guys that right now. So um, you see we're moving our mouse with our cursor. We have the arrow. If you go to the top right um, section, it's gonna change to a plus sign here. And now we can left click, hold and drag to the left to duplicate this uh, viewport. And what I wanna do now is change it from uh, the editor type to uh, the asset browser. And now we can see our, our pose library here. And if we press in, we can bring up uh, the menu as well. And we're gonna have some more options here shortly. So back on the left side, let's create our first pose. And we're in pose mode, we have our rig. Um, what I wanna do is create my first pose. And what I'll do for this one is press uh, A to select all the bones. And then I want to select create pose asset and at the bottom left I have it says pose name and I want to change his name to uh, maybe default so this would be our default pose and you see if you go to the right window this says default which lets you know the name of the pose and if you want to change it you can also do it so do so here now Let's create a different pose separate from this. And what I want to do for this one is um, maybe have the leg, one of the legs lifted up. So let's select our foot control, press G to grab and move. And let's just reposition this to be maybe up here. And let's have it um, rotate it slightly. And since we only want to uh, affect the foot control, we're only going to select the, the bone that controls the foot and press Create Pose Asset once again. And now we have a secondary pose, and we'll just name this um, Leg Up underscore L for left. And now we have multiple uh, poses in our library. What we can do from this point is transition between the two and I'm using Blender 3.1 so uh, it may differ depending on the version of Blender you're using uh, how you swap between the two and create an animation in between. So if I want to swap between the default pose and the left um, and the other pose you can just select them here and if you want to see the transition between the two you can uh, while one selected you can left click hold and drag your mouse to the right or to the left to uh, in between those poses. And I'll do that once again. You want to have one of your um, poses in selected already and left click the opposite uh, pose or the, the, the second pose you want and left and um, just drag it right or to the left while holding down the left mouse button. Hopefully this isn't too confusing. Um, one thing you wanna do, say if you wanna mirror a pose. So let's select our leg up. And I want to affect the opposite leg to be mirrored. How do I do that? Over on the right side, and this is why we have this other window opened up because we don't have this option on the left uh, viewport. So we have our leg up here. You wanna press uh, select, so it selects that bone. You want to check on flip pose and press apply. And um, sometimes it doesn't work 
um, directly. So you have to press select once again and then press apply. So now it mirrored the other uh, leg over. So that's one way of creating that. So let's go back to our default pose. And uh, what else? Something else that's um, maybe need to be brought to attention is the thumbnail image. That doesn't let you know what position the pose is in. And that's because the camera's position. So on the left side, um, let's go to our camera. So let's pose this how we want it to be. So the default pose, we can change the mode from pose to object, press zero, or you can press the camera button to go through the eyes of the camera. And we can check on camera to view. So this is gonna lock it. And you basically wanna just pose this so you can see the pose that you, uh, you have selected. So once you have your camera here, you can just uncheck this change the mode back to pose mode and you can go to this preview side and this is why I told you guys to press in so you can pop up this little menu and you can uh, select this rotating um, arrow symbol and it's gonna basically go to the camera view and take a screenshot of that position so now you can see we have our character here so let's do the same thing for the leg up Let's double click to change this. Change the mode from pose to object mode. And let's uh, go back to the eyes of the camera by pressing zero, or you can press this camera icon and check on camera to view, which locks it. And you can reposition this. And I'm just gonna zoom in on the leg so I know that that's what I want to, uh, you know, keyframe for the animation. So once I have this here, I can exit the camera lock feature, go back to pose mode, and then I can uh, press the refresh button and it's gonna, you know, have the icon so I know that that's what that pose does. So one thing that you guys need to know before walking away from this tutorial is once you get to more advanced uh, posing, and uh, you want to create a pose in a maybe a, a super advanced position, always select all the bones that make up that pose before you create the pose. So if, you're, if you have your arms crossed and your legs straight, you need to select all those bones that make up that pose and then go to create pose. Or else whatever is only selected is going to be locked into place. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick and simple tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Catch you guys in the next video.